Hello, my sisters and brothers. God bless all of you. I hope everyone is doing well. So I have been seeing and hearing some pretty interesting things in regards to the transformation of the 144K and the three days of darkness. The first thing that I saw, I saw a particular group, a purple group that has been sealed. Um, that does not mean that that's the only group that has been sealed. That's just what I saw. And the Lord revealed to me that there are apparently leaders and different ranks in the 144K. Some of these people have been revealed to me. You know, I talked about seeing uh, changes coming. Shauna um, talking to somebody about seeing an angel coming to her house and sealing her on her forehead. Uh, the other day during worship, I saw Eagle Eye for Christ uh, with a gold bar across her forehead. There was a writing inside of it, but I can't make out what it said. But I literally saw a gold bar across her forehead. It was amazing. And, um, you know, while I was praying, I, I saw a quick flash of people going up in the sky. It was like this, but they were more close together. It was like a solid group heading up in the sky. And that was it. Another thing that was revealed is that the 144K will be transformed. I received the word translated, though, will be translated individually. I heard this crystal clear in my spirit that it will happen individually. Um, and I also saw a video a long time ago. I remember somebody talking about having a dream that Jesus was coming to the 144K personally, individually, and um, transforming them. Um, I've had little flash visions of seeing him on a donkey going to people's houses, door to door, um, chariots I've seen too. So um, this was an amazing confirmation. Also, in regards to the three days of darkness, for those who do not believe in the three days of darkness, I don't know what to tell you, but ready or not, it's going to happen. I literally heard a conversation in my head. It sounded like angels talking about this, like saying the three days of darkness is real. This is going to happen. You know, I'm already a believer. I'm convinced 100%, but that's what I heard in my spirit, that this is going to happen. And it is very, very real. And when I started to talk to myself in my spirit, I was just like, wow, I can't believe the three days of darkness is going to happen this month. I don't know what made me say it like that. And once I said that, I heard a voice immediately after say, indeed, this is true. And then it said it is going to happen this month. Now, we know the timing of God and our timing is completely different. However, I'm just saying what I literally heard, and that's what I literally heard this month that the three days of darkness is going to happen. I've had several dreams, um, very weird ones. It's like the dreams wouldn't be about the three days of darkness, but in the dream, I'm thinking about, oh my goodness, the three days of darkness is like so soon, like it's going to happen any moment. It was just like, it wasn't a fear. It was just like acknowledging it and knowing that it was true and that it was really going to happen. I had like a couple dreams like that. It wouldn't even be about the three days of darkness. And then there were some where it was about the three days of darkness. And I'm just having conversations with people about how soon it's going to happen. And like, it's right around the corner. So for those who do not believe in it, it's going to come to you like, like a shock. I mean, I, I really don't know what to say. Um, I've done enough videos about this. Um, so it's going to happen. It's something that is absolutely going to happen. Um, another thing I have been led to worship. I could already feel the Lord tugging me to do this because I kept hearing worship music in my head playing. And I also heard worship, you know, audibly. And I was kind of like, not fighting it, but I wasn't really into it with all my heart. And it's better for you not to even pray or worship or fast if you're not going to do it with all your heart. He has shown me that if, you, if you're not doing it with all your heart, he doesn't even honor it. So um, make sure that whatever you're doing, you're doing it with all your heart because it matters to him. And so I was doing these bootleg, bootleg type of worship <laughs> and he told me, um, he, I didn't hear from him for almost two days. You know, everybody has their own relationship with the Lord. And with me, 
um, I won't start to fuss until the second day if I don't hear some hear from him. And as soon as the second day hit, I started to fuss and he was, I heard a voice that, Ooh, excuse me, you can find me in worship. So, um, and I've received numbers saying, um, give me the gift of worship or, you know, come to me and, and worship something. I can't remember word for word, but I've been receiving that a lot. And what I've noticed that every time I worship at midnight, my body will literally start to vibrate. And before anybody calls me a witch or say that I'm some kind of a, a cult, there is a, a verse for that. It says your, uh, your body will glow with health and your very bone will vibrate with life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So I know many people have left me comments about their bodies vibrating. So you're vibrating with life. I think that's Proverbs 3, 8, that verse, uh, Proverbs 3, 8. So um, yes, he has been uh, leading me to worship. And if you don't know the power of worship, it is almost identical to fasting. He has led me um, in different you know, times of my life to do certain things. And one of the things was a period of fasting and he would show me the power of that. And then he led me to just like a period of just worship, like, you know, 90% worship and 10% prayer. Um, and he was showing me the power of worship, how there's literal fire. Once you start to get into a routine of worship, you begin to build an atmosphere of just like fire constantly burning in your home. I've seen this with my own eyes and um, praise and worship is extremely, extremely powerful. I don't think people know how powerful it really is. So um, it's no wonder that he's, you know, getting me in the rhythm of doing this right now because, you know, the three days of darkness is getting ready to approach. So, um, so if anybody else has been led to that, it's not by coincidence. There's no coincidence with God. Um, also, if anybody has had any similar visions in regards to the ceiling and um, the individual transformation and certain groups, ranks and leaders, not that that's important. I just want to have a confirmation about this um, because I have been hearing it in my spirit these last couple of nights. So um, that is basically it, you guys. Um I hope you were blessed by this and I will talk to you soon. God bless you.